Hello everyone, welcome to Faywood Mead. Thank you for joining me for this year tasting of dandelion and spring flower. I haven't had these guys in a while. We'll see how they are. As far as what I did, I don't fully remember. It's been a very long time. I'll just put the instructions and everything else down below. But the spring flower in particular had a blend of clover, wild violet, dandelions. Had those three. Dandelion's just straight dandelion. I remember liking the dandelion more, so we'll see how I feel. Nice and still. I guess I should get another glass, actually. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm this one's darker than this one, but they both look like pee-pee. Very different on the nose. Uh, I was pretty simple when I made these. I didn't do any acid or tannin balancing or anything else. It's literally like <laughs> honey and flowers and uh, and I stabilized, but that's it. That's That's it. So let's see how this turned out. Tastes like a graham cracker. How in the hell did that happen? <laughs> that's a spring flower. Like it literally, it tastes like a graham cracker. And it's acidic. Interesting. Okay, dandelion. Kind of tastes like fruity a little bit. It'd be interesting because I, you know, some of these meads I put away to send into competitions and I had intended on entering some this year, but uh, my financial situation hasn't been great and spending like $50 on a competition just it just didn't make very much sense for me this year. So I still have, I have like dandelion sitting there waiting to be sent to a competition. I would be interested to know how it would be judged. Cause at this point I would do things different. I would do things differently. Like if I were judging this, let's say, it might be in like the mid thirties for me, just because there is a, it's so weird. I don't know where that acid came from unless I added like lemon juice or something to this, which I, I may, I probably did. I really don't remember. But again, it'll all be down below and you can watch these videos to know <laughs> exactly what I did. It's really interesting how the flowers developed because you, I wouldn't drink this and guess that's a dandelion. You know what I mean? I, I would not guess that these were floral based meads at all, especially this one. I mean, it's crazy how different they are because this has like a weird, I mean like, a, an actual graham cracker. It's like if I put a graham cracker in the dandelion, it's kind of like what this tastes like. It's really strange. I think I liked them the more the last time I had them when they were a little bit younger. I don't know. I don't know if age has like served them super well. I don't know how I feel about them. They're my favorite. I don't think I want to make any more dandelion mead to be honest. Um, I don't know if I did. I would do things way differently. As far as I can tell, like at the old house, we had loads of dandelions everywhere. And you know, we didn't spray or anything. So, and Percy usually got walked. He didn't, he didn't really go in the yard. And when he did, he had very specific places where he would go. You know, I, I felt okay picking the dandelions around the property. But out here in the country, uh, there were really weren't very many dandelions. I think I saw like a single patch somewhere. <laughs> but they don't really grow here. I don't think I need any more dandelion in my life. I think I'm good. It is kind of a fun thing to try though. I would encourage you to try it if you have dandelions in your area. I wouldn't really like go out of my way to get them. And if you did, you'd get them dried. And I don't know how big of a difference that would make flavor wise. Um, Cause normally you use fresh flowers and you pour water on them. You let them soak for a couple days, strain it and then make your mead. Or at least those are like the old school directions. It's okay. It's just, it's just an okay mead. There's really not a whole lot I can say about it, except that it's too acidic, not enough tannin at all. Of course I didn't add any tannin. It's, you know, the petals don't really provide a whole lot. This thing over here mystifies me. The, the violets didn't actually provide a whole lot of flavor. And I didn't put like that much clover, like real clover flower into, I didn't think to pull a whole lot, but my gosh, this is vastly different. Sorry, this video, this video is not really like a wow, wow, wee wow video. <laughs> it's like, meh, some flower meads. 
and they're just okay. There's nothing like inherently awful. They're just unbalanced. I, I guess that's really it. They're just unbalanced. Anyway, check out the links in the description. I got memberships, I got Patreon, I got a website. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. See you next time. Bye. Bye.